Hey guys, our Bala guy here. I am doing a wrap-up video of probably one of my best uh, hunts I've had since I started to metal detect. Um, much to my dismay, I was not able to get any of this hunt on camera because it was a private beach club and people were there. Didn't want to bring a camera out, and then most of this also came from the water. I don't have a uh, a water camera yet, so I figured that it still deserves a wrap-up. So. I'll start with the, uh, well, I guess, you know, modern coins. Uh, I have, I wrote this down, so I'll check here. For quarters, I got 55 quarters. I have 68 dimes, 58 nickels, and 202 pennies. And as you can see, a lot of these come out of the water in, in pretty good shape. Uh, there's some that have an like, unusual patina, which is actually kind of nice for, you know, for clad. And then, obviously the rusty ones, those are from founding on the land. And the nickels actually held up really well too. Like that one there is kind of goldish. And then we have just a lot of pennies. And a lot of these came out kind of like a nice green-blue uh, color to them, which is Pretty nice. And then these are all wheat pennies. I think the oldest one is my probably from the 30s. Over here I got a few older uh, 40s and 30s Jefferson nickels. And then here I got two buffaloes. This is a, a Canadian wheat penny. And I got some silver. The silver always uh, comes out black in the water. So these two I found on land. Actually, these these come from land too, but I think they were with like some sort of chemical that it literally ate the silver away. Um, weird, but that's how it was. And these ones here from the water. So I got one mark, and the rest are rosies. I got two silver quarters. And then one of my favorites was the, uh, the Franklin half dollar. One of the first things I found when I was detecting here was this beauty right here. That's a KG3. No date, but still very neat. And this here, flat button. So there was some colonial activity in the area. I got to uh, see two, two toy soldiers, a few bullets. Uh, a little bit of heart um, jewelry. I'll save all that for later. I'll come back around. And this is, you know, only one sinker in the whole area. I was pretty surprised with that. These are all like bathing suit parts, I'm guessing. Uh, Cut it here. I got some more interesting coins. Well, actually, I think only one of this is a coin. This one here, I think, 1909. I think that's from Italy. And I have a uh, presidential token, Warren G. Harding, a Newport Bridge token, uh, Mount Hope Bridge token, someone was crossing the bridges, a uh, Boy Scout um, token, uh, that's a transit piece right there. And let's see, down here I got a few more Canadian pieces, earlier quarter and a, and a dime. And then down here, let's see, I'll start with this. this. I got, yeah, lots of uh, jewelry and uh, earrings. These are all Catholic um, pieces here. Some of the dark ones, I think this one, this one, probably this one here, maybe this one too, are silver. They're blackish, they look silver. Got a key down here. I think someone had it on a string, but they still lost it. This here is a... Uh, Monopoly piece, the iron. This is some sort of neat looking, I guess, a pendant or earring. And all these here are the rings. I found a lot of rings. Um, some of them, like this one here, obviously is a crushed junk ring. These are thin. These might be silver. I'm not sure. That's probably just a wire ring. Same with these. But these, I think, are probably silver rings. I think. At least two of them I could see sterling inside them. It's a nice little heart ring. 
Uh, this here is a silver ring. It's a nice little design on it. Another silver ring. This here is neat. Got the battleship from Forever, USS Massachusetts. It's a cheap ring, but very cool design. Some of these have a stone loss. There's junk rings. This one is uh, sterling. Crushed, but might be able to get that fixed. And then this is here is a nice, beautiful gold wedding band. It has 10 or 14K. Another thinner gold ring. And another nice, beautiful gold ring with a stone in it. And then the biggest surprise is probably these two. I'll get the three rings because they're all high school rings. This is a generic, probably a $5 high school ring, not precious. These two are not. These are both 10K rings. So this is um, South Kingston High School, class of uh, 1940. And this is Moses Brown, class of uh, 1946. So two, yeah, three class rings in a one, one spot. I was very surprised by that. Um, so that was a good day. I found I think I found both those rings on the same day. Um, now here we got a pocket watch in pretty good shape. Um, a little hinge, some winding key. This is I think a watch fob. This is neat. This is a bracelet. It has a name on it. I think it's Jackson, and it has the uh, the city on the back side. A little owl. Um, this is very. This is neat here. I believe this is sterling too. It has a woman's name on the front. I don't know if I can focus on it or not. I'm going to focus. I think it's like Paula and it has her birthday on it from the 40s. So that's pretty cool. Uh, then a bunch of hair clips. This one is kind of neat looking. I think I'm going to focus here. That's better. And then of course a lot of uh, buttons. Mostly these are for bathing suits, but I got a funny one with a uh, foreign writing on it. A nice eagle one. Some anchors. And then a few other rings here. Junk rings, but this one is kind of cool. It's junk, but it has a beautiful little cameo on it, so that was nice. Oh, what else? I got a little, that's a uh, no cash value token. And then here I got some earrings. So these ones are newer, and these ones are maybe a little older. I didn't see anything that said like sterling on it, but you never know. Cool little flag pendant there. Oh yeah, I missed down here. This is some more earrings. That uh, this thing here, I have no idea what that is. Might have had something inside it that it fell out. This is a pretty cool little piece, also with a name on it. I can't make it out right now. Yeah, this is all over um, the course of maybe six visits, seven visits. I think I spent at least 20 hours in the water. So, yeah, I doubt I'll ever find another site like this that will have this much stuff. And there was virtually no trash. I think maybe three pull tabs. Uh, that one sinker and a few uh, bathing suit rivets. Um, so I had to, oh, some of these here were drunk too, but that was it literally. So there it is. That is one good dig for the summer.